Hello everyone, welcome to my third attempt at trying to create a tutorial showing the proxy functionality in the SoundCloud Manager software. Hopefully the video and audio will stay in sync for the duration of this tutorial and I'll be able to upload it shortly. Alright, so the first thing I want to show you about the proxy functionality is how to view the list of websites that will be scraped. Go to the settings tab, it's indicated by the gear menu icon, and click the proxy scrape URL button. Here you'll see a list of all the websites that will be scraped for the proxies they contain. If you do not have a list in your program as big as this, you can go to the web page soundcloudmanager.com forward slash download forward slash list proxy sites dot text. Here is a list of websites that I have found and you can import them into your software as such. Make sure you save the file and then that's it. Also the proxy settings to be aware of is the number of proxy scrape threads, how many threads are used to scrape that list of websites we just saw. The number of proxy validate threads is how many threads will be used to validate the proxies and the timeout value. A lower timeout value will mean you validate faster proxies, but there will be less as the slower ones will not validate. If you want to scrape as many working proxies as you can, set a higher value around 30-40 seconds. The validation process will take longer accordingly, but you will end up with more proxies. So now we'll go back to any of the tabs that contain a proxy control and click the scrape proxy button. All the list of websites we just now saw are now being scraped and the proxies they contain will soon be added for our use in the software. It should only be a couple of seconds more. And as we can see now, the routine has finished and we managed to scrape 2,947 proxies. Of this number, quite a few will not be working, so you will need to validate the proxies. There are five methods to choose from in the validation process. You can choose a non, which is a basic anonymous check, just to make sure that the default header is not passing on your IP address. This does not mean that no information on your machine is not passed along, just the basic check. If you want to make sure no information on your IP is passed, then select a highly a non option. The next option is a post. A post request is when your machine is sending information to the server. For example, when you create accounts, you are sending the account information to the server. Some proxy servers are not post enabled, meaning you can only use them for scraping information or pulling data from the server, such as the plays increaser. You can combine the above features and test for a non and post and highly a non and post. For this tutorial I'm just going to be doing an anonymous check. So you select the option and then click validate proxies. All 2000 odd proxies will now be checked and the validated proxies will appear in the list for your use. If you have a list of proxies you can import them directly into the software by clicking the import proxies button and any proxies contained in the control can be saved out to file using the save proxies button. I ran through this check earlier today and out of 2,900 proxies I ended up with just under a thousand working proxies to use.